Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to discuss newest legendary heroes Kolgul which is infantry, pvp and mobility traits uh, who is I think pretty interesting legendary hero which will be used in uh, many different legions so in order for us to find out why is Kolgul is uh, so flexible and so strong we need to understand what kind of skill set and synergies Skolgul has. Uh, on, her, on her first skill, Skolgul Legion gains Vigor and Blood 44 to seconds. Vigor means uh, HP plus 5% and Blood for it uh, deals additional counter-attack damage every second to all legions at close range, which means whenever the legions gonna attack this Skolgul's legions, counter-attack damage will be a lot more and duration is up to 6 seconds, which is uh, a lot of time in the battlefield and HP bonus is up to 15%. All infantry units in Skolgul's legion gain 5% uh, physical attack and 4% HP up to 20% uh, attack and 10% as a bonus uh, HP. Again, we have a 15% here HP and 10% here. The third uh, skill is a passive skill. Skogu Legions gains 60% march speed every time, the burst of charge, and 1% attack every time they launch a counter attack. Well, basically, you're gonna have every time this passive because uh, Skogu's Legion gonna do it, do a counter attack damage every second in the battlefield, and max attack bonus is up to 25%, which is a lot for an infantry hero. Uh, the fourth skill, um, Skolgul's Legion has a 10% chance to receive healing, uh, like small healing factors, 350, uh, not a lot, not a small amount, kinda not a big impact on the battlefield. Uh, regarding like uh, Awakening skill, uh, infantry units in Skolgul's Legion deal 10% more counter-attack damage. So in like in general, regarding the skills and synergies, the Legion of Skolgul will have a, a high HP because uh, HP bonus here is 15% and here is 10%. Uh, you're gonna have high HP and you're gonna you will be dealing a, a lot of counter attack damage. So it's not like a full tank uh, legendary hero. This is infantry HP and damage uh, infantry hero. Like every skill in his kit is giving the attack bonus, HP, uh, counter attack damage, and in order for you to deal more counter attack damage, you need to stay alive in the battlefield. That's why healing factor is uh, here for 350. Uh, regarding like uh, in talents, uh, which talents really should be going whenever you are paying, playing Skull Ghoul, there is like infantry, uh, PvP and mobility, right? Uh, in my opinion, infantry and PvP will be the uh, nice way of playing Skolgul at first, like infantry on the full until the ready for battle or even uh, Iron Wheel, both of them are amazing, and PvP until this uh, Army of Valor or Lack of the Draw. It Everything depends on your gameplay. Uh, mobility is nice to have, but... Uh, at first, whenever a new legendary hero comes out, it's better to uh, start like in a basic way because uh, everybody knows that infantry for infantry three is a great one to have. And whenever the, like the season will progress, we will understand the different playstyles of Skolgul, and I think mobility three will be uh, usable after some time. But uh, right now, infantry until the end and until the half PvP three because every skill for the Skull Ghoul uh, is usable in the battlefield. Uh, well, in order for us to know like in which kind of uh, hero pair Skull Ghoul will have, we needed, needed to know the which kind of skills and energies she has. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best hero pairs for Skull Ghoul would be Madeleine, uh, simply because everybody knows Madeleine is a counter-attack um, legendary infantry hero, uh, with like physical attack, like Madeline deals counter attack damage, and Madeline is more like attack type of uh, legendary infantry hero. Also, uh, with the Madeline in the Legion, you will have a Legion capacity bonus up to 15,000, and uh, this means that you're gonna stay alive longer because you will simply have more 
the troops in, in your legion. Also, 10% legion damage dealt bonus here. You have a physical attack bonus and up to 20%. Uh, infantry HP, same as Kolgul. Counter-attack damage bonus, uh, up to 15%. Uh, Skolgul is like most important stat is counter-attack damage. And uh, Medellin is giving all the kind of counter-attack damage too by itself. Uh, skill damage factor, again... Whenever our shield is broken and Madeline's awakening skill will be usable for a Skolgul 2 week because like it hits three surrounding legions and Skolgul's um, uh, like units whenever Skolgul is in the legion deals 10% more counter attack damage. In my opinion, Madeline and Skolgul is a great great pair. Uh, if you are choosing to play purely counter attack damage like tanky DPS uh, infantry will be amazing with Kogul and uh, Madeline. Uh, the other playstyle with Kogul will be of course with uh, Garwood, simply because whenever you are choosing Garwood as your hero in the Legion, it means your Legion will stay alive for a long time, uh, because like damage reduction, healing factor, um, uh, healing receive bonus, Kogul is giving heal some to infront unit defense, and uh, physical damage dealt. Yeah, Garwood and Skolgul can be a great pair. Uh, Garwood will give the uh, HP healing and defense reductions to Skolgul's Legion, and Skolgul will try its best to deal as much counter-attack damage as possible. Of course, um, as always, Skolgul and Goresh, I think, will be a great uh, addition to the game as a hero pair, but uh, currently, as I don't own it and a lot of people don't have Goresh at all, I'm not gonna speak uh, more regarding uh, uh, Goresh as a hero pair for Skolgul, but uh, keeping in mind that Goresh will be amazing hero pair in the future for Skolgul. Uh, regarding like Epic hero pairs, of course, for infantry, there is always Eliana. Eliana will be giving Skolgul some healing, some shielding, some uh, damage reduction, right? Everything what's gonna give Eliana to Skolgul will be useful. So even epic uh, hero uh, such as Eliana will be useful uh, for the uh, Skolgul legions. This is like hero pairs, I think, which will, will be useful for Skolgul, even like uh, Bahar can be useful, simply because Bahar has a uh, like damage reduction uh, into the like healing received bonus, of course, and skill, tam skill damage taken reduction. Like, e almost every infantry hero has a synergy with Skolgul, that's why I think she's amazing hero, legendary hero. Uh, regarding like artifacts, which artifacts will be useful for Skolgul, uh, one of the most important, I think, uh, uh, Dragon Scale Armor, uh, amazing artifact for any infantry uh, legion. Uh, after that, um, even uh, Greymars Warhammer, the new artifact uh, uh, which gonna give unity uh, defense and legion defense, and of course, damage factor 1600, which is pretty high for an infantry artifact. Regarding Dragon Scale, Dragon Scale's uh, uh, skill is purely a shield, which can, which will be 2,200 shield, and uh, as we said, for Skolgul to stay alive is the most important thing. So Dragon Scale is amazing, same as Greymare's Warhammer. Uh, regarding like Kurata's Wrath, I don't think that it's a useful artifact, and uh, of course, uh, like... And there is a new artifact which just came out, it was Riches of the Forest uh, uh, event. Uh, I will try my best to show you from the artifacts. Uh, the new artifact is for new infantry heroes, uh, I don't remember this one. Uh, I, I hope you can see it, I don't see the name. This one is like especially for Skolgul and Goresh. If you will get it, it will be great. Uh, if not, uh, then whichever artifacts we have currently to obtain is amazing for any infantry uh, heroes. For example, Springs of Silence, I'm using this artifact, and of course I'm gonna use it for a Goresh too. But uh, even Dragon Rift can be amazing for Goresh, like simply for a physical damage. But if you want to go a purely... Uh, uh, defensive artifacts, then Dragon Scale Armor and uh, Greymare's Warhammer is the best choice. 
Uh, regarding uh, war pets, which kind of war pets can be useful for a uh, scroll ghoul? Well, I already did uh, guides about every single war pet one by one. I'm not gonna speak uh, deeply regarding them, but I think there is two obvious choices. One is uh, like Stripe Bear with the healing vigor, uh, and the, like as you can see on scroll's first skill, there is a vigor HP, which means I think friendship and Top friendship uh, on this call will, will be amazing, and frost bear with like frost armor and uh, shields can be amazing too. So like generally anything which gonna give you additional ways of staying alive in the battlefield. Uh, that's the way I think Skullgul can be played. I think she's a very interesting hero, which can be used in many different ways, like even healing legions, even counter-attack, pure damage, uh, armor, like every style for this uh, hero is amazing, simply because infantry, PvP and mobility is a great, great traits to have. Uh, this is what I wanted to say regarding Skullgul. I hope you liked the video. I'm gonna continue what I have been done already for a couple of months. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.